Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, I'm going to show you one of many reasons why you need a microscope for your refurb. Alright, so why on earth do I need to purchase something else to do refurb? I have all the machines, I, I, all my stuff turns out really, really nice, and you're telling me I need to buy something else? You're kidding me, Justin. You're kidding me. Like, you gotta be. Nope, not kidding you. I'll tell you right now, I may be one of the only people that uses a microscope for refurb, but I love it. Now, what, what are the reasons that I do it? I'll go ahead and give you one really good one right now. So let, let, me, let me throw an example situation at you, okay? So you have got your display. So we've got a display right here. It's already been cleaned off. Everything looks legitimate right now. Um, at this point, you know, we can, we can move forward and laminate it together, right? Well, yes, well, no, okay? Me personally, I'm a big fan of laying my uh, Oka on the display itself, um, which we'll get into why I like that later. Um, but with that being said, We've got to put our uh, we got to put our oak on here, okay. And whenever you stick it in the roller and you're about to put it on there, sometimes when you set your 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 base oka on there before you actually peel your film off, you'll lift the top of it up to be able to raise it up, and then the whole thing comes up, and you're like ah, rage fest. You pull up the whole thing. You got to start over. You got to realign it. You got to put it back down. You got to start over. You got to clean it. You're not. You don't even know why. You're like, why? I already cleaned it. I don't understand. Why did it stick to it? I'm gonna go ahead and show you why it stuck to it with a microscope. So let's just jump on over here and let's take a look. See. All right. So let's just kind of start off here on the bare display itself. Um, really, there isn't much going on, um, but as we move closer to the actual flex, we start to see all kinds of crazy stuff that we didn't really notice before, okay? So let's just go up and down the flex a little bit just to get a little bit of the anatomy down. Let's see, we got our little copper tape and everything. Um, and then what's going on here? Have you ever noticed that before? That's glue. Okay, so while your display may look absolutely pristine, there's still some glue on here. And that glue can cause many issues throughout your entire process. Um, everything from, like I just said, where you lift up the laminator and you're like, ah, dang it, it's stuck, to just straight up causing bubbles. Okay, you, sometimes if you don't clean out the glue, you'll, you'll laminate it and a few hours later you'll look at it and you'll start to see this big old indention of bubbles coming down the, the front of the display. It's, it's really infuriating and frustrating because you gotta start over. So, right there, that's the deal. We're not trying to start over. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we can do about this glue. So, I know a lot of people who do refurb really don't have a microscope, uh, but once you see me do this, you're gonna want one immediately. And you don't need this one. You don't need this one. This one is, you know, this one does a lot of stuff. You need an inspection scope, okay? Because you're inspecting the, the screen. So I'm gonna come in here with a plastic little razor blade and you can see everything now, okay? You can see all that glue and you can be really careful with it. So I'm just gonna come in really gently, get it started. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. Move it down. You can actually see it's going to turn into this big old gob of glue right here. Okay. By the time we get to the end, you're going to be like, man, that all that glue was there the whole time? Yep. Believe it. And this is very easy to do. It only takes a second. You can see I'm already almost done. You don't need to go down super hard or anything like that. It's a very easy and gentle thing to do. Oh, wow. We are almost done. And sometimes you can just do it like this where you just whoop and it all comes up. No big deal. Look at all that glue we're pulling up. This right here could be the cause of a lot of frustration for some people and they don't even know it. Look at that. So now that we're done, Dip ourselves a little bit of ISO. 
and you know we're just gonna go back through and you don't even really need this coat for this too much I mean maybe around the flex area or something but we're just gonna clean off the residual glue alright once this is done um, you should never see another issue with these lifting up when you're rolling your oka on it and you know I can't say that you'll never see a bubble because you know there's a couple other things that have to deal with that but I'll tell you right now this will be eliminated in the possible reasons why so yeah I mean anybody who's doing refurb right now I, I totally recommend that you go and purchase at least an inspection scope it, if anything you know a video scope you you can do this with a full video scope you don't even actually need the 100 percent microscope you can get one of those little setups that have just the little uh the, the camera on itself and the c-mount adapter to be able to see it it's it's very simple you don't need anything crazy this isn't like soldering where you need to see like instant reactions or anything like that all you're doing is cleaning out the glue and there are many more uses for a microscope and a refurb so definitely something to look into so hey I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you want to start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, if you are super about it and you want to learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom, hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right? And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe you even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you, or maybe you just wanna say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them, seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well guess what, I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description, boom, right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god, check out my stuff, then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.